to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris and I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're sorry. Go ahead, continue. We're taking a look at the official trailer for the third con official Conjuring movie, The Devil Made Me Do It. Mm -hmm. So basically, this is continuing the Conjuring verse. This is the third chapter in the iconic franchise. Following, uh, yeah. Following the Warrens, played in played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga, a uh, couple who deal with supernatural cases, anything dealing with supernatural. So now we're diving into the first, most controversial one, pretty so much. So the first history. first film was them investigating a haunted house, plaguing this family. The second one was them dealing with a haunted house playing a family in the UK. The third one's actually different. Yo, <laughs> this, the third, the one, this is the one that really got their name like, out there. Like, right? like with the first two films, this one is also based off of one of their cases in Major which ones. a man claims it's the first time in the US history that a man claims to my possession. Yeah, this Def a, yeah as this his defense. A, as his defense at, uh, in, a, in a court. Pretty much, and this is the first time ever. That's why I said this is what really kind of got them on like people's radars and the, stuff like that. The other thing to note as well is that this is not James Wan we're doing this mm -hmm. one. Instead, it's one of the veterans of the Conjuring film. The one who did La, uh, La Luna, who directed yeah. that film. Mm, yeah, that one wasn't so well received, yeah. but but. We'll have to see if he's produced. I'm pretty sure uh, at least James Wan is producing it at least. You know? We'll have to see if the third time's a charm. So, yeah. so let's dive into this for the official trailer for The Conjuring. The devil made me do it. So here we go. This is Ed Warren, here with Lorraine. All right, let's get started. Residents of Brookfield were shocked this afternoon by the broad daylight murder of Bruno Salls. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. No. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. Whatever was going on, whatever happened that day. Oh, great. That was so horny. It's a witch's totem. We think your family was cursed. Holy that shit. Still open. Oh, 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 damn. I'm only interested in reality. Oh, that's such a great shot. That was, that was a really that was good awesome shot. shot. <laughs> okay, that sounds like so terrible happened here. <laughs> so good. It's not an adversary to be Hey! She's dying in a She's ready to come to the darkness. Lori, you need to come back. Shaving him with everything you have. Because that's what they very will cost. Damn. Whoa. Oh, shit. Damn. Who chills? That was him. That was good. That was no, good. that sound effect when she's in a forest was so good. I thought it was coming from outside. It's raining outside. I thought it was coming from outside. I'm like. No, it was coming from the it was coming from the trailer. Uh, yeah, that looks really good. Cool. John Noel needs to play what he usually plays. Somebody who's just warning you in his voice. <laughs> he's he's, a, he's the, the the old guy. What are you going? 
Don't go into that forest. Oh yeah, that yeah. shot where the car driver when the guy's standing in the spot. Let's be honest, somebody was an Exorcist fan. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, what makes it so different is isn't like the last two where it's just they're investigating a family who's being haunted. Here, it's actual case where somebody's you being know, has been cursed. Yeah, yeah. It's not only being cursed, but he's been you know claiming that pretty much the devil took him over. You know, and uses it uses body in a way to do this murder. And if you're to be fair to Ed Warren. Let's be honest, that's how they won the case in the Miracle on 34th Street remake. It's like, uh, that's they put like in God We Trust. As I said, it's like, you, you swear it's in, you use in God We Trust. You know, it's like, it's like why can't, you know, it's like, you yeah, can't believe, believe in God. God. Why can't, I think it's at this time right now, we need to start believing in the devil. You know, which is a great line. You're like, yeah, holy that's shit. That's a really good fucking that's line. That's a good line. It's really, it's like you're telling these people going, you, you believe in what you're saying. You believe because it's a God. Da, da, da. But it's like, why can't you believe in the devil? Oh, yeah. Definitely going to bit bigger heights with this third film. Because like I said, the first two were good. Yeah, because this but, one, like I said, this was the one that really got, this is the case that really got them pretty much got them noticed in a way. Got them noticed yeah, what they, um, what they do. I believe, yeah, both Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmer said they would love to do more Conjuring. Oh, they said they love it. Yeah, yeah they, they love, love their characters. time with these films and doing all of this. So, I mean, it's, not, it's not like they're rushing like Marvel where it's like, we gotta do this, but we did this. And it's like, they've been taking their time with it. When they've been taking their time and they were a part of it, they were enjoying it. You know, it wasn't yeah. like rushing anything out there. But honestly, yeah, it definitely looks good. I mean, like, it definitely, it's a bit more, it does feel a bit more blockbustery. I guess is a word for it than the previous two. Yeah. But, you know, they've done good for a far. The Conjuring versus is a big mixed bag. Like, the first two Conjuring films were good. The first Annabelle movie sucked, but then the other two... Uh, the follow-up one did great. The, the follow-up to both the other Annabelle films I've heard done, I've done well. And then there was The Nun that was mixed. Uh, Crystal Light Roy, I didn't hear anything good about. I didn't hear that like, anything good about. Which, that. that's the only thing that had me worried is that they got the guy who directed Crystal Light doing this one. We'll have to see. You know, it depends. Like, uh, like I said, it depends on, on how everything goes and what they do with this. All I know is I'm glad I don't have a waterbed. <laughs> Same here. So other than that, folks, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about The Conjuring, verse hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this interesting interesting universe that we call pretty much uh the conjuring verse uh, uh you know you know what are you guys thoughts on where we've been so far and you know in this trailer what we have what we're coming up to now you know it's very interesting like where they're going with it we're now you know we're dealing with the case that really put them on the map in a way of like you know who they are what they deal with and things like that um do you have any favorite conjuring uh, you know, universe films whether it's one of the conjuring films or one of the other spin-off ones i mean do you have any favorites that stand out and again, of course what do you think of this trailer for this third conjuring film are you excited are you pumped are you a little hesitant especially who's directing it uh put down what you of our reaction overall but most importantly thank you for watching so until next time folks i'm chris and i'm christopher and this has been a very conjuring film episode of srb See ya later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.